over 40 years, my whole life make embroidery. Probably we eat, then my mama teach me how to make embroidery. Traditional, my family, my grandma touch my mother, my mother touch me. Soak dry. Soak dry usually is under sun, under light, it's more shiny. That's different than the cotton dry. Our almost family traditional is birds, flowers, fish. That is, a, I do very well. And I took her to an art show, and she's looking at, at the art, and she said, well, people like what I do. And when I came home, I looked at it and I said, my God, I don't know if they'll ever understand it, but they're going to like it. Well, the first show we did, people would come over and say, how did you get such a good photograph of an embroidery? And you know, we realized quickly we had to put signs up in, in, in the booth that said, this is embroidery, it's not photos or paintings. This is a scene from the Metro Parks, and it's, it's taken in the fall, and it's by the Rocky River uh, Nature Center on Shepherd Lane. She felt when she was doing this was that she had been kind of trapped, in her, you know, when she before she came to America, and what she had to do when she did embroidery. Now she, you know, this is an expression of the freedom she felt, and you know, as she was released from that, and she can become an artist and do what she wants and express herself now. Like this birds, at first they did it, watch the real birds. Look at birds, eyes, fur, everything. Then take a picture. Then draw on the pee, on the silk. I give my mind the birds which color. This piece is basically a, a vase she saw that from that she was looking at some pictures from France. And then she customized it to what her heritage is and put Chinese themes inside of the vase structure. But what makes it unique is she's using little French knots out of half strand silk. You know, I can sit and watch her for hours. It's just, I'm always amazed at what she's doing. 